Cyprus has been politically divided for half a century and physically divided since 1974. That's when Turkey launched an invasion. It said it had no choice. It was there to protect the small Turkish Cypriot minority. There had just been a coup by the larger Greek Cypriot community inspired by Athens with the express aim of uniting Cyprus with Greece. Thousands of people were killed and as many as 200,000 people from the north and the south were displaced. People lost their homes, they lost their businesses. The UN was called in to patrol the so-called Green Line which divided the island into two parts and it stayed that way ever since. Two United Nations tanks moved in to help disperse the crowd. Why should we care? Well, you have to remember that Cyprus is a member of the European Union and clearly a member that is divided in the way that Cyprus is is always going to be a problem. There does seem to be quite a bit of optimism that a deal is finally possible to resolve this long conflict. This is going to be difficult and it's possible. It's going to be difficult because obviously even if the majority of issues have been solved in all chapters, it's not the easiest questions that we have left till the end. It has to be said we've been here before. There was a referendum on a peace deal back in 2004. The Turkish Cypriots agreed to it. The Greek Cypriots said no. So there's been a lot more diplomacy, particularly in the last few months. And crucially, the Turkish president, President Erdogan, also seems to favor a settlement. So the omens do seem better than they have been for quite a long time.